reading my book on St. Joseph Copertino, one of the most delightful saints in the church. Many saints have levitated, but no one as much as St. Joseph Cupertino. St. Joseph Cupertino, if you would mention the things of God or if he saw something that inspired him, he would let out a shout and then go into uh, levitation, go into an ecstasy and levitate. When St. Joseph Cupertino was levitating, they say he would be singing and dancing, singing and dancing in the air. Joseph Cupertino loved to sing to the Lord. He wrote his own songs. Before Christmas, he'd invite the Franciscans into his room, and together they would sing songs to the Lord, songs, some of them, that he wrote. And then eventually he'd typically go into an ecstasy. We are celebrating 50 years of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal. The Charismatic Renewal came to remind the church that we must praise the Lord. We need to sing a joyful song to the Lord. We need to be expressive in our praise. Some people accuse us of being emotional. Brothers and sisters, there's nothing wrong with putting a little bit of emotion, a little bit of heart into praising the Lord. Some people say, I'm more traditional. Let me tell you something. You read the tradition of the church. Our tradition is a tradition of praise. St. Augustine's church would praise God with great jubilation. St. Francis of Assisi, he was praising God all the time. He wrote his own songs. St. Teresa of Avila, she'd write her own songs too. They would praise the Lord.